All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson. Coming at you tonight with a fight review. We're going to Berno, Czech Republic for octagon number 22. We're going to a catchweight bout. Minus 64 kilograms between Lucia Putilova coming in at 10 and 6. Taking on Mayu Suatama coming in at 8 and 5. Now this is supposed to be a bantamweight bout between Suatama and Marta Volacek. But for whatever reason, I'm not sure, uh, Volacek had to withdraw, and Pudulova took this fight on two days' notice, dropped I don't know how much weight. She, I forget what they said, but it was like a ridiculous amount of weight, the uh, commentator said, to make uh, minus 64 kilograms, which is about 140 pounds. Anyway, going into the fight, first round, uh, Pudulova uh, started off you know, she kept Suatama on the outside at first with her jab, but uh, Suatama was eventually able to get on the inside and got her first takedown. Uh, did a nice job too, you know, uh, trapped the legs, sat down on him a little bit, but Pudilova was eventually able to, you know, get her legs out and fight her way back to her feet. But Suatama kept close, kept working to clinch, and eventually got a second takedown. Um, once on bottom, Pudilova just started throwing some hard elbows to the head of Suatama, and then she was eventually able to get back up again. And Mayu basically ended the round, you know, hunting for that third takedown, but eating elbows in the clinch against the cage. Second round was all Pudilova. Uh, firmly kept Suatama on the outside with her jab and her one-twos. And they were, they were money jabs and money jab crosses. Um, both Suatama's takedown attempts were stuffed by Pudilova, and sometimes Pudilova chased Suatama down enough to land some nice punching combinations. Then in the third, final round, Suatama, you know, she was more willing to engage this round. She took the center, she forced Pudilova on the outside, which was the exact opposite of the second round. Um, Pudilova, though, continued to jab, and jab crossed to great effect. Um, Suatama's face was just bloodied all up. Uh, Mayu, Mayu Suatama, however, did get a late takedown attempt, uh, but it was brushed off by Pudilova, who just went on a super aggressive on that last 15 seconds and just punched away, chased Pudil, uh, Suatama down with punches to the end bell. Uh, went to the judges, and all three saw it for the winner via unanimous decision. Uh, 30, 27 times three, Lucia Pudilova. No surprise at all. And I gotta be honest, this is a very, very different Lucia Pudilova than we're used to seeing from the past. Uh, could this be the birth of patient Pudilova? Uh, honestly, time will tell, but if she can maintain that kind of type of patience in you know future fights, she could be really dangerous because Pudilova, you know, she's known for being a brawler. You know, she brawls sometimes to her detriment. But if she can maintain this type of patience in future fights, she could be very, very dangerous. Now, so watch on the other hand, she just had no answer to the jab. Uh, couldn't strike past it and didn't have the footwork to get past it to, you know, set up her takedowns or anything. Just really going to have to work on that. And the final note I have here is that this is three straight for Pudilova. Could a UFC return be imminent? Um, I remember when she got released and went back to uh, Czech Republic. I remember reading somewhere she had said that the matchmakers told her, you know, get on a win streak and we'll bring you back in. Well, this is three in a row with this third one coming on very short notice. You know, could be this could be it or maybe one or two more. But uh, Pudilova has been looking good since getting back home and fighting on that local European circuit against some, you know, tough opponents. Now for things to work on, for Mayu Suwatama, obviously I mentioned this, you know, a minute ago, but she's got to work on her footwork. She's got to use that footwork to get past that jab. She's also got to, you know, learn some head movement as well because she was honestly just getting her face jabbed off. So work on that footwork, work on the head movement, got to learn how to get past the jab of taller opponents because she's bantamweight. You're dealing with taller fighters there. Uh, for Pudilova, 
I'd like to see, I would have liked to have seen her cut off the cage more. So Watama just kept circling the same direction the entirety of the second round. Now occasionally Pudalova would chase her down enough to land some more punches when she would get angry enough, but I'd like to see her, you know, work on cutting off the cage, use her footwork, and, you know, take a couple steps at an angle to cut off the uh, outside fighter's movement. Now for fights to make, uh, Suatama, she, we'll have to see. For Pudalova, if the UFC return is not imminent and she stays with Octagon for her next fight, I think the next logical fight to make would be for her to fight Lucia Sabova. Sabova fought on the same card, catching a first round knockout via right high kick. Very nice win, beautiful. Uh, Sabova is a lot less experienced by Pudalova, but she has already shown a lot of skill and she is a very dangerous fighter. So that would be a very, very good fight to make. I think that would be a barn burner, just guaranteed fireworks for Octagon. Okay, so those are my thoughts on this fight. Pudalova really showing a lot of great improvement. You know, like I said, could be the birth of patient Pudalova. Um, if you haven't caught any Octagon shows, you know, look for some of their fights on YouTube. Now this fight hasn't been uploaded yet, but if it does, I'll try to go back and uh, link it to this fight review. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the fight in the comments down below. Now, if you like the video, please give it a like, share it as well. That's what helps the channel to grow. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMA Scene Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.